And joining us now, Jamil Jaffer, founder and executive director at the National Security Institute and former senior advisor to the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Jamil, two of Israel's biggest enemies, both from Iranian proxy groups, killed back to back in less than 24 hours. How concerned are you about this regional conflict escalating? Well, look, the regional conflict is already in play. I mean, the reality is that Iran has long been backing groups that have attacked Israel, attacked Americans, killed Americans, held Americans hostage. And so uh, the that conflict is already ongoing. Now, these are obviously big moves. Israel has made clear in the past it's going to take out leaders when attacks are conducted. They've done it before. They've done it again. Um, and I think everyone should have expected Ismail Haniyeh to be killed um, at some point. And it's now just happened in Iran, which, of course, does raise the temperature somewhat on a Iran is already promising to retaliate. So just how vulnerable is Israel right now? Well, you know, Anna, Iran attacked Israel or tried to attack Israel uh, a few months back in April when they took out an, Isra an Iranian consulate in Syria. Uh, th that attack essentially failed because the U.S. and Israel was able to strike down uh, the missiles. So we'll see what Iran does. Uh, but Iran's already on the offensive. They're the ones funding Hezbollah and Hamas. that has been killing hundreds and thousands of Americans and Israelis for years. And so what do you think Israel's strategy is at this point and the, the timing of this back to back? Why now? Well, look, obviously, the Hezbollah attack was in a direct response to that killing uh, in the Golan Heights where children lost their lives on that soccer field. Uh, the the Hamas attack, of course, was about the October attack that killed 1,100 um, and has a few hundred kidnapped and even and, and they, some of whom remain uh, hostages in uh, God, the Gaza Strip today. So I think this is not the timing isn't really the key. The question is, you know, what about the next Hezbollah leader? What about the next Hamas leader? And will Iran respond? And if so, how? And so those are huge questions. Obviously, we're awaiting answers and, and more uh, reporting on all of that. You've worked in national security for the White House, for top congressional committees. What advice would you give to leaders in Washington today to avoid greater conflict? What action would you like to see in these next 24 hours? Well, look, I think that uh, the United States should make clear, just like we took the fight to Osama bin Laden, I'm on al-Zawahiri, Israel was attacked on October 7th. We defend their right to defend themselves. If that means taking out senior leaders of the enemy, that's what it takes. And at the end of the day, for Iran to understand that, for Hamas to understand that and not retaliate because this is an expected outcome of conducting terrorist attacks, that to me is the safest path. Telling the Israelis to back off or telling the Iranians not to not to respond other than because uh, this attack happened, um, I think that's unlikely to succeed. Jamil Jaffer, thank you very much for offering us that analysis, your insights as always.